In a piano of this size, uh, they're almost always disappointing in the sense that you're, uh, they don't have enough colour. It's very difficult to get the sounds that you want. You're always looking for that dynamic that is in between two dynamics. In this case, there's a, a huge variety of dynamics, which is very nice. It's got a, a responsive action that's not too heavy and it's, um, it's nice and... Uh, you know, you can do trills and repeated notes, and you can do them with ease. Um, it'd be nice if all pianos were like that, but they're not. <laughs> In terms of practicing, you know, if you, if you suppose you had this piano at home to practice on, you can practice anything you want on it, you know. Um, in terms of what sounds best on it, I mean, I, I played some Mozart and Mozart sounds really good on it. In a smaller room, it will probably, you would feel less constrained by its size because it would sort of fill that room nicely. In, in terms of conservatories, yes, I mean, lots of conservatories have quite small practice rooms. And um, if I had to practice on this, I, I feel I could do quite a lot of good work, you know. What I, I like about this sort of piano is the fact that it is mechanically reliable. So it's quite unforgiving in that sense, so that when you, um, which, which is good, you learn more that way, so that uh, it doesn't do you any favours, you know. Um, it's, although the sound is very, very nice, it's not, it's not finished. Uh, but the advantage of that, to my mind, is that you can actually mould the sound to get something you want. So you, you will find colours, which you can get because it is mechanically stable. <laughs>